पर इंडस्ट्री श्री सिंघानिया जी डियर फ्रेंड काशी चेयरमैन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम कमेटी आंति सुलनन पंकज जी डॉक्टर तपलियाल एंड ऑफ कोर्स मिस्टर सूद फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम सो वेरी डिलाइटेड दैट पेपर एक्स हैज कम ऑफ एज एंड टुडे वी आर सींग दिक्सटीन एडिशन of paper x uh, in delhi ncr so congratulations to to all the organizers uh, dear uh, delegates i am seeing uh, uh, all good faces over here old friends new friends uh, and uh, i can say a few of the stalwarts of paper industry sitting over here so i am addressing to all of you uh, friends uh, ipma represents uh, uh, you know a large chunk of paper industries uh, in the country today and it is it is it is uh, known it is understood that ipma would be having some kind of a pulse of the of the present and future of paper industry at least in india so uh, maybe i thought uh, i can touch upon that that pulse today with all of you uh, so what is the mood of paper industry and its stakeholders in india today what is the mood like so i find it to be a mixed one there seem to be lot of challenges but simultaneously there is a good news when there are lot of challenges then of course there are lot of opportunities so friends uh when we talk of challenges first of all we have to really understand one very important aspect and i'll be touching upon just two or three facts and uh, you know hypothesis which i have in mind because we have to hear to our distinguished speakers after me the guest of honor and of course the chief guest so one thing we have to really understand what is the proportion of uh, raw material being used or the kind of industry we have in india today so when i joined paper industry around 28 years ago this mix was one third wood based one third agro based and one third recycled fiber based but no more to my utter surprise this mix has changed a lot and today it is 20% wood based only 5% agro based and there is a reason behind that if you can please stop that drone for a while it is making lot of sound 5% is agro based and whopping 75% is recycled fiber based we use waste paper to make various kinds of paper and board but have we given a thought to it that where are we leading with this kind of mix so this 75% of paper and board it needs raw material and this raw material has to be generated within india to be competitive to be cost competitive isn't it but our virgin fiber based product is only 25% and looking at the collection rate which is hardly 50% there's a huge deficit this recycled fiber based industry today is dependent on its raw material from abroad it has to import all the way the raw material along with all its uh, you know uh, throughouts being coming together so it's a big challenge and a good news we have a readily available solution for this but we all have to make concerted efforts and friends ipma has been making all concerted efforts to promote social forestry agroforestry in a big way and this is the highlight of my address today uh, rohit my dear secretary general he gave me this speech to speak wonderful speech thank you so much rohit but i'm sorry i'm not speaking out of it because i i thought perhaps this is the subject which i should touch upon in my next 5 minutes friends if we don't look if we don't work collectively towards growing and planting 
trees through agroforestry social forestry through private means through government means through ngos through whatever means we have at our hand we are really moving in a direction where we'll be having lot of capacity lot of inbuilt capacity but no fiber available will be totally dependent on imported waste paper and imported pulp is it really a good situation to be in so no so friends uh, uh, my request uh, uh, through our chief guest today he has lot of cloud being in government in up to hamare nandi ji nandi ji ki kafi cloud hai aur ye yogi ji aur modi ji tak puri pahunch hai hamare industry minister hai nandi ji तो मेरी नंदी जी से आग्रह रहेगा कि पेपर इंडस्ट्री के सामने सबसे बड़ी समस्या आ, इस समय यह है कि हमको रॉ मेटेरियल की बड़ी कमी है और उसके लिए पेपर इंडस्ट्री चाहती है कि हम फार्मर्स के थ्रू सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री एग्रो फॉरेस्ट्री उसके थ्रू हम तमाम ट्री प्लांटेशन कर सकते हैं ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री और हमारी तमाम सरकारी जमीने और पी की जमीने तमाम खाली पड़ी हैं बैरन है उसमें कुछ नहीं हो रहा है वहां पर हम पेड़ लगा सकते हैं और उससे होगा क्या सो वट आर द एडवांटेजेस वी आर गोइंग टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट मल्टीफोल्ड एडवांटेजेस फ्रेंड्स टुडे आफ्टर ऑयल ट्री और स्लैश टिम्बर इज द बेस्ट पॉसिबल नेचुरल रिसोर्स विच अ कंट्री कैन हैव आप सोच लीजिए अगर कोई नेचुरल रिसोर्स हमारे पास इतनी जल्दी हो सकता है विद इन फोर इयर्स फाइव इयर्स इट इज ओनली टिम्बर वुड एंड दैट टू ग्रोन बाय फार्मर्स इन देयर फार्म्स इन देयर एग्रीकल्चर लैंड्स इट विल हैव अ पॉजिटिव इंपैक्ट ऑन एनवायरनमेंट इज इट इट वी कैन हैव वी कैन चेंज द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ द एरिया वेल वी गोइंग फॉर प्लांटेशन इन अ बिग वे सेकेंडली इट विल कंट्रीब्यूट टूवर्ड्स कार्बन सिक्वेस्ट्रेशन thirdly it will generate employment and in a big way fourthly it will improve the income of farmers drastically when i say drastically not 10 15 20 percent in our area we have seen and nandi ji jab kisan lakdi lagate hain kheton mein to unki income ded guna do guna ho jati hai so it is a win win situation for all so friends a uh, uh, message uh, uh, for i mean this uh, the main topic for today's uh, for this uh, paper x uh, is sustainability and can there be a more sustainable program than going for social forestry agroforestry in a big way i don't think so so uh, with those thoughts uh, i would like to say one more thing i would like to mention here and i think one of my previous speakers mentioned that paper industry of india has come of age we have tried to live with our limitation of economy of scales the operations of scales which are quite low you know we have got mills producing 100 tons 150 tons 200 tons a day even less but we have been able to adapt to the world class technologies to our limited small capacities and that's a good thing paper industry has done in the past one decade one last point i would like to touch upon and that is the environmental concerns the environmental challenges so today everybody i mean today there is a good mood there is a good feeling all across you know uh, feel good factor in the air when we talk about paper because everybody says that the menace of plastic single use plastic can be handled by using more and poor paper so that debate has been you know set aside now so paper is uh, environmentally friendly biodegradable everybody loves to use it especially next generation gen z they they are very they are highly environment conscious so paper has got that inherent advantage but in this hall in this room and in this paper x we delegates have to ponder upon one aspect are our paper manufacturing processes equally environment friendly or no or do we have to do something more to make our processes environment friendly 
So friends, good news is we have got technologies available today where we can use those technologies and make all of our environment friendly, uh, all of our manufacturing processes right from procurement of raw material to treatment of it, making pulp and making paper environmentally friendly. So let us, let us uh, explore those technical opportunities also in this paper X for next couple of uh, three or four days and let us see how can along with our product we can make our manufacturing processes also environment friendly and sustainable. So I wish uh, every one of you a pleasant uh, uh, stay in Delhi NCR and I'm equally you know uh, eager to learn from uh, from uh, minds, uh, you know, roaming around and, uh, you know, uh, very close to us, walking around to hear from them, to learn from them, and to take something home and really make our industries flourish uh, in the coming, coming years. So once again, thank you so much, organizers, for giving this opportunity to, to interact. Uh, uh